Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Citroen DS3. New one in, purchased from a local main dealer. Uh, well, not that local, Newbury. A um, little bit of a cheaper car than we usually do, but it just looked exceptionally clean and tidy, which it is. And I just think they offer really good value for money. You get a, quite a modern, quirky looking car um, for, for sensible money. Um, always got good miles on as well for some reason, I don't know why. This one's done 77,000 which for a 12 year old car is nice and low. Um, there is a French name for the color, which I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, the roof and the mirror caps are opal white. I think it's something like Era 3 red pearl. I will find out exactly and put that on the advert for you so you can compare. Uh, but it's very similar to the Nissan Force red because I went round, I borrowed the touch up stick we had for that and did a couple of touch-ins on this. Um, so. Quite, that looks more orangey though, doesn't it? This is more of a dark sort of maroon. Anyway, enough waffling about the colour. I'm going to take you around show you everything I can see, condition and spec, and then obviously you can make your own mind up. Right, we've got some daytime running lights here. 16 inch alloys. The one on the opposite side to this has a few curb marks, uh, but the rest of them are pretty decent. Mirror caps, like I said, and the roof finished in opal white chrome everywhere here, privacy glass on the windows, high level brake light on the rear, parcel shelf is present, decent sized boot inside of which is your space saver spare wheel, and that, you have to pull that bit of foam out to access it obviously, all the tools and very important Locking wheel nut just there. I did a little touch in just there. And a couple here, there was just a little couple of sort of parking chips there, which I've touched in as well. Did a couple of touch-ins on the white mirror cap just there and that is the biggest area i was debating whether to paint it or not but it, if i spend money on the car the price has to go up for you so i've touched this in if you would like a more professional job done we can work you out a deal in with buying the car but as long as you stand more than about three steps away it's presentable but yeah you just let us know if you want to go any further with that i'm just trying to keep the cost sensible for you uh, a couple of small stone chips but out of the MOT area in the screen there. Uh, the bonnet is pretty good. There's, I didn't do any touch-ins there and there isn't any to do by the looks of things. Quite clean and tidy on the front there. We'll have a look inside now, starting at the back. Obviously we have to go through the front to get there because it's three door. There we are. Black cloth, three headrests along the back. Two isofix points. Didn't come into me with any mats. The floors are clean and tidy. Cup holder there, which you can reach from the front and the back, and all black headlining. Got these magazine holders in the back of the seats as well. I'll take you around and show you the other side, which is obviously much the same, but just so that you can see all the doors open and all the seats slide as they should. There you are, all clean and tidy. Onto the front then, airbags in the front seats, electric windows, gloss black trim throughout, original wallet, one owner's manual for the car, one for the radio. There's the bonnet release, airbag up there, which you can turn off here if you want. The rest of it's just storage. Head round to the driver's side now, where we shall finish off. Electrically adjustable mirrors, not folding, just electrically adjustable. Electric windows in the front, the driver's one being one touch. Height adjustment on the driver's seat, which we didn't get over the other side. Bolster holding up really well. There's the pedals, little cubby hole there, traction control there. Two original keys, so one flip out with the colour coded to the roof and mirrors little tab on it, 
and then just a spare solid key that's how it comes from Citroen as you can see it's got the original logo on there I'm going to jump in to show you the rest sweep around here to show you the mileage 77,356 you've got your wipers there audio remote you've already seen the key so I won't show you those again lighting cruise control little flat bottom steering wheel with a silver insert that looks quite neat this little thing if I can operate it with one hand you can pull out and it has like an air freshener element which you can renew and then that puts that through the vents for you uh, FM AM radio fairly basic stuff we have got uh, I go to source single slot CD and obviously auxiliaries as well let me see if we've got I don't think there's any form of Bluetooth on here. I'm just going to have a flick through. No. Not that I can see. Let's have a double check. Oh, let me turn that radio down. No, I can't see any Bluetooth. I'll do some further investigations when I'm not trying to rush it on camera and see if I can find it. If I can, I'll put it in there. Uh, cubby holes here and here. Five speed manual gearbox. Normal handbrake, mechanical one auxiliary input there and another 12 volt just there there's the cup holder which you can see from the back they're very difficult to see because it's black on black but there is side airbags just there illuminated vanity mirrors and the regular rear view mirror and that's everything i can see if i've missed something please do give me a call and i'll pop out and check for you straight away i will include as many pictures as the auto trader allows of interior exterior and paperwork Along with this video, I'm aiming to give you the experience of coming to view the car at the site without having to leave home. If you want to keep that going, you can leave us a small deposit. We'll prepare the vehicle and bring it up to you. And then you can pay for it when we're there. Nice and simple. I can explain that in, in greater detail if you want to give us a call. Obviously, if you're looking at shopping in the traditional fashion, here we are on the main road. The A32 between Fairham and Gosport. Loads of cars, all sorts of prices and makes and models. So if you just browse in, you can pop down any time. The site is accessible 24-7. However, if there's one car in particular, you want to get inside, start the engine, all that sort of stuff, please do give us a call first. We're a very small two-man business. At the moment, I'm actually on my own for a couple of weeks. So we're going to be very much in and out. Even during the advertised opening hours, I can't guarantee that someone will be here. Whereas if you phone ahead, obviously I can make sure I'm here to accommodate you. And that's everything I've got to say. So thank you very much for watching.